Hey guys, how's it going? Chez here again with another career mode video and we're back. It's time to get back to the Chelsea career mode. Now what this video is actually going to be is rather than actually progressing through and starting the uh, the set or the third season as we are now going into this Chelsea career mode, this is basically going to be a recap episode because it's been quite a while since we uh, we were in this series and the channel pretty much has doubled in size since we, uh, since we were going through this Chelsea series. Uh, as I record this Tuesday afternoon, I'm about 150 shy of, uh, of 10,000 and uh, the the channel was around about 5, 5.5k five when uh, we stopped this series. So basically what this is going to be is, uh, is a reintroduction to those of you that uh, were here before for the series and for those of you that are new basically to keep to get you up to speed with where we are right now so uh, basically where we are right now at the end of the second season we just about scraped Champions League football by uh, winning the last two games one of which was against Liverpool and uh, we were able to finish fourth just one point ahead of Spurs so we will have Champions League football for the season upcoming in the FA Cup unfortunately we were knocked out in the semi-finals at Wembley by Aston Villa uh, in the Capital One Cup we didn't actually get to the round of 16 at all so we will just skip over that of course we won the champions league and the league cup in the opening first season so we were involved in the uh, the european super cup at the start of the second which you can see we won against zenit st petersburg 2-1 so we have had three pieces of silverware so far unfortunately we lost in the semi-finals of another competition which was the champions league against Borussia dortmund they went on to win the title against bayern munich and uh, then the Europa League was won by Manchester United. So at least one English side was able to uh, to win a European competition. But uh, we did okay in the second season. Uh, we've got some uh, some players that we we need to keep and some players that I want to move on. And uh, basically, of course, as always, when we start a new season on a career mode, I want all of your guys' suggestions in the comments section down below. Who should I sign? But of course, just to refresh your memories about players that we've already got, we'll go through the, uh, the squad report just to quickly show you. Uh, I won't bother with the the, uh, the competition stats but we'll have a look at the attributes I'm not going to go into too much detail I'm just going to go through player by player let's uh, sort this out so we have all of the players in position order and uh, so you can see what we have what we need and I can show you what I uh, am potentially trying to uh, to get rid of and uh, I will advance in this episode as well so we can see what uh, expectations are for the the, uh, the third season and what budget we've got to use for the next year but as you can see goalkeeper wise we've got Petacek to my Blackman and Thibaut Courtois uh, Blackman isn't rated that highly of course as you can see so I probably will send him out on loan but Petacek hasn't decreased at all and uh, Thibaut Courtois is improving at all the time so well, we do have two solid goalkeepers that will do us very very proud for the forthcoming season so hopefully we shouldn't need to uh, to buy a new goalkeeper. Uh, right back wise uh, Danilo is our starting right back if you remember rightly from uh, when we had the season before. Mattia De Cilio has been playing for us at left back similar to how he has been in the AC Milan career mode. Ivanovic I don't use at right back I use him as a rotation centre back and uh, Thomas Callas is our other right back who uh, has seen some rotation football this year as you can see 13 games one goal one assist but uh, he will be integrated more into the uh, the starting lineup or uh, getting more games this season as we head into the third year our starting centre backs are Rafael Varane and David Luiz but David Luiz I'm thinking about moving on I haven't decided yet let me know your thoughts on that potential move other centre backs we have are Nathan Ake again a youth player that will probably be going back out on loan Kurt Zuma we bought in as a realistic signing of course has signed for Chelsea in real life as well uh, not too sure how much first team action he'll see this season probably be used as a rotation centre back JT is extremely old now 34 years well not extremely old old in FIFA terms 34 years old his stats have plummeted and I will be moving John Terry on at the end of this season unfortunately so uh, I will need at least one centre back if not two so definitely hit me up in the comment section with those Andreas Christensen will be going back out on loan of course if we can shift him out uh, left back wise Ashley Cole is our, our rotation left back of course like I say Mattia De Cilio is the starting left back at the minute and I may even move Ashley on as well uh, Ryan Bertrand is the rotation player that is out on loan at the minute but again not necessarily as good as we might need as a starting slash rotation left back but Bertrand and De Cilio the left backs will have Ashley Cole will move on right backs we've got Danilo and uh, De Cilio as well so 
I'm going to need a wing back to be completely honest. Thomas Callas is there as well. But if one of them gets injured, I am going to need a wing back. So we need at least one, if not two centre backs. We need one wing back. Holding midfielders and central midfielders, we have Arturo Vidal, Marco Van Ginkel, Leroy Fer, Lars Bender, and Ramirez. Now, Ramirez is a player that I uh, enjoy using on FIFA. He is very, very effective in real life. I've actually gone off him a little bit, to be completely honest, with uh, his tendency to elbow and kick opponents rather unsportingly. But Lars Bender is a very, very good rotation player we brought him in to uh, to replace Frank Lampard he's done okay for us uh, not been too uh, too heavy with the goals and assists but still he's a good player and a good rotation player Leroy Fur again another rotation player kind of the cheap Yaya Torre been pleased with him Marco Van Ginkel has been out on loan a lot since we've been doing the Chelsea career mode but he's coming back into the first team picture and will see some football this year and Arturo Vidal has been my crux in midfield I lean on him so much he's such a good player unfortunately he's been out for ages with anterior cruciate ligament damage which is probably the reason why we finished fourth and not near the top of the table because he makes things tick in our midfield so holding midfielder wise I don't think we need any improvements here with uh, the amount of uh, players that we have although I may move Leroy Fur on or Lars Bender I haven't decided yet but uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of that when it comes to wide players, we have an abundance of uh, wide players. As you can see, Andre Schoeller, Eden Hazard, Marco Royce, Quadro Asamoah, Lucas Piazzon, and Christian Atsu. Add to that Willian, who's probably at the bottom of this list as well because he's a left winger. There you go. Willian's there as well. So we have so many wide players that we don't need anymore. Hazard, Royce, Asamoah, Piazzon, who is a particularly good player now if you look at those stats. And he's been involved in the first team and will be, will be more so this third season. Christian Atsu will probably see some first team football this year actually it's looking at his uh, his pace stats and the fact that his ball control and his dribbling is pretty good uh, his crossings up to 80 now as well he's really really come on this second season whilst out on loan and uh, he will see some first team football as well so wide players we don't need any Kevin De Bruyne wants to leave he is transfer listed although he is an extremely good player as you can see although hasn't had much of an impact on the first team so I probably will let him go now central attacking midfielders we've got Oscar here an extremely good player although doesn't score as many goals as he perhaps should do Marco Royce plays at camp for me at present but Oscar is the rotation player for that position and of of course, we've got plenty of players that can fill their role. Eden Hazard can play in the middle. So can Andre Scherler. So can Willian. So on that side of things, we are very, very well off. And uh, when it comes to strikers, we have Luis Muriel, who is uh, our starting striker. Loic Remy came in and did very, very well indeed. Six goals in 11 games. Was pleased with him. Broke his ankle, unfortunately, up for three months at the end of the season. But he's been doing well. So we've got Luis Muriel, Fernando Torres that uh, I'm actually looking to move on this year. Unfortunately, Fernando is going to have his time come to an end at Chelsea. I will be moving Fernando Torres on, so uh, I will need another striker. So, just as a round-up for players that we need, we don't need a goalkeeper. I am looking for at least one, if not two, centre-backs. I'm looking for a wing-back. We may need a holding midfielder. Give me some suggestions. I might look to replace either Lars Bender or... Or Leroy Fur or both and we're moving Fernando Torres on and we'll need another striker that's basically where we are player wise now I will just sim the rest of the thing and cut back again when we start the next season so we can see uh, objectives for all competitions and see what budget we've got to use and then uh, we'll address how we go on from here in the rest of the series but uh, as for now I'll cut as you can see it's flipping through loads of different uh, loads of different uh, days etc and I'll see you at the beginning of the second season Third season, lol. Okay, so uh, we've started the second season, and as you can see, our starting transfer budget is £40 million. The board have given us a lot of money to use, so we have got a lot of money to bring in the sort of players that we've mentioned that we would like to bring in. We've got a wage budget of 190 k but that can be improved, and of course will go up if and when we move on the players that we're looking to move on. So I will go through now and put so yeah, the, uh, the players I want to go up for loan, up for loan, and the players that I want to go up for uh, for transfer, up for transfer. Let's have a look. Uh, Lucas Piazzon is listed for loan. I don't want to uh, to do that. We'll remove him from the loan list. Uh, De Chilia, Ake and Callas. I want to remove him from the loan list as well. I'm going to go, I'll go through it and then I'll, I'll cut back once it's done. Okay, so here's what we've done so far. Fernando Torres, Leroy Fur, Kevin De Bruyne, Branislav Ivanovic and Ashley Cole are on the transfer list. Uh, I, ju I couldn't bring myself to put JT on the transfer list. He can retire at the club. I'm not moving him on. JT, just like Frank did, has to play out his entire rest of his career with Chelsea Football Club. But uh, Traore, uh, Torgan Hazard, Christensen, Ake and Jamal Blackman are all up for loan listing. But uh, as of now, we haven't had any... 
you know, uh, expectations from the board, but uh, we will wait for those. Hopefully they'll come within the next couple of days or so. If not, we'll find out about those in the next episode. We should be getting them here. Those three emails should be, there we go, domestic cup objective. You can see in the top left. I will just quickly skip to those. So domestic cup objective, they would like us to win the cup, whether that be FA Cup or League Cup. I'm not sure, but we will definitely try to at least win one of the uh, domestic cup competitions. Uh, Champions League, they would like us to win the Champions League as well. It's uh, going to be tough, but we got to the semi-final last time, so we can definitely do it again. We won it first season as well, of course. And we've had a transfer offer for Nathan Ake, so we will look at that. It's a loan offer for Blackburn Rovers. We will accept it. Nathan Ake has gone out on loan. Our transfer, or, our transfer, our wage budget has gone up. And Nathan Ake is out on loan at Blackburn Rovers. Thank you very much. Right, so basically, this is where we stand now. We're looking for players to come in. Let's see and have a look which teams have come up. We've got Leicester City in there that weren't there before. I think actually we did have Leicester second season, but teams that potentially would have gone down and come back up. Uh, West Brom, West Ham are still here. Sunderland, Stokes, Spurs, Southampton, Norwich. Teams that aren't necessarily uh, going to be a problem really for picking up points are Leicester and Hull. Teams like that, you would expect Leicester, Hull and perhaps Crystal Palace to be the teams towards the bottom of the table but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But as for now that's going to bring this particular episode to a close guys. There won't be a career mode episode tomorrow afternoon I'm going to have a special vlog uh, tomorrow afternoon just to give me uh, some extra time to uh, to, you know to get some feedback for the start of this third season here at Chelsea so that we can uh, we can crack on next week starting from Monday of course if you don't know what I upload and when I upload it there is a dis in the uh, there is a schedule in the description that will let you know the those details of course there's uh, also the schedule on the about page on the channel page as well but as for now that's all for today. There will be a My Player episode later on tonight at 9pm, of course, as always. And uh, there was, of course, the final episode of the AC Milan career mode yesterday. If you missed that, then check the channel page for it. There was World Cup sticker book yesterday as well. There will be World Cup sticker book tomorrow as well. And, uh, of course, the vlog will come at 1pm rather than a career mode episode. Then we'll crack on with this next week once I've got all your transfer uh, requests of your own. And uh, we'll have a look through. Over the weekend, I'll try and bulk record a little bit. But, of course, I want to keep the... Uh, during the transfer, I want to keep it quite fresh with uh, your ideas and stuff so t follow me on twitter at chesnoy gaming there's a link in the description and uh, feel free to tweet me ideas all the time and i'll look into them as i'm recording uh you know for for next week's bulk of career mode so uh, that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the third season of this chelsea career mode thank you for all of the support on the channel the past few days it's been absolutely superb and i will see you next time.